Praise the Lord, everybody. Pastor Nick here. So glad you can uh, join us this morning or whenever you're watching this as we continue to journey through Psalm 23. Uh, There's such richness in this particular chapter, and we hope you're enjoying it. Please share if you can. um, Tag somebody. Get somebody on. Of course, follow me on my platforms if you can um, as we continue to uh, share this message uh, with you all. And we hope that's being a blessing to you. This particular psalm has been a blessing to me during this whole entire pandemic. Especially verse number one, the Lord is my shepherd, shall not want. Letting us know that if we keep following the shepherd, we talked about this before. If we keep following the shepherd, God will p- place us in a position where we, w- we shall not want. No matter what season you're in, no matter the struggles you have, you shall not want. A lot of people, when they read that, um, they first think of something either financial or resource-wise. But sometimes you may need peace, joy, comfort, love. Those things, God says, if you follow me, you shall not want because the shepherd leads us. He guides us to a place of provision. The Lord will supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. He knows how to lead us to supply. The shepherd's job as we follow the shepherd, as we walk with him, he leads us to a place of provision, a place of satisfaction. It does not mean that we won't experience some hardship along the way. I told you before in a previous video, you and God can agree on the outcome. He chooses the process. So as we walk with him, there can be challenges along the way. But what I've learned is that those challenges shape us, those challenges make us, those challenges form us. God is working something out in the process. We say, God, I didn't expect to go through this, but God is working something out in the process. The temptation is to take the shortcut. Satan takes Jesus up to a mountain and says, I'll give you all the kingdoms of the world if you worship me. And Jesus says, thou shalt worship the Lord in him only. Satan was trying to show him an easier way to get what he was going to receive, but how to get it without going through the cross. Satan was trying to tell him, I give it to you right now if you do this. Satan shows you the convenient and the faster way to get what God wants to give us uh, when God is a process of sacrifice time. Always remember this. Satan rewards you first and you pay for it later. God, you pay the price first and he rewards you later. Satan, you get the reward first and you pay for it later. God, you pay for it first, you pay the cost, you sacrifice, and you watch God reward your life. If there's one thing I know about Satan, his reward never lasts as long as the price you have to pay. It takes you a few minutes to get in trouble and years to get out of trouble. It takes you a few minutes to get into it and can take you, it feels like an eternity to get out of it. But with God, Jesus tells in John 16, you may labor for a season. He uses the, uh, the imagery of a woman giving birth. You will labor for a season. But when the baby comes, the joy that you receive from the reward will outweigh the pain of the process. I want you to know that the shepherd is leading you somewhere and there may be some pain, some birth pains on the journey, but I want you to hold on. I need you to keep on pressing and keep on pushing. Stay with the shepherd because the pain of the process is a part of the wisdom of God to take you to where he's trying to take you. He's forming you. He's making you. He's drawing you closer to him so you can learn more about him and get closer to him. So by the time you get to reward, you'll say it was good that I was afflicted. And if it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be today? The shepherd is leading you somewhere. Let him lead you through the trouble. I'm reminded of Joseph. Um, The Bible says that in Psalm 105, I believe, that God gave him a word, a word of him uh, being elevated. And then he went into Egypt. He went through this process in the Potiphar's house, into the prison. 
But when the Bible says the word came and got him, there were some things that Joseph had to learn in the process. Administrative skills in Potiphar's house. Dream telling skills in the prison. Two things he would need when he got to the palace. God perfected and worked out behind the scenes in the process. God is teaching you something in this process. So by the time the word gets you and elevates you and God brings you to where he desires for you to be, you will know how to succeed in that environment. Keep following the shepherd because no matter where Joseph was, the Lord was with him. And no matter what you're experiencing in this process, the Lord is with you. The Lord is your shepherd. You shall not want. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll see you uh, in a few days as we continue in Psalm 23.